this is now my third day in Hot Springs. The first day when I arrived, I had driven from Charlotte, so uh, I got kind of late in the day once the time I was checked into my hostel, the Laughing Heart Hostel. It was about three or four in the afternoon, and so a nice, short, very pleasant hike, Spring Creek Nature Trail, just outside of town. So that was great uh, as a little get out and see a little bit of water after you know being in the car. The second day, Laurel River Trail, which they fooled me. I thought it was 3.5 miles, but it's 3.5 miles one way. So I, you know, did about seven miles. I was really tired last night. I'm a little discouraged about that. That's the fact I'm staying at a hostel that's filled with people who are hiking the Appalachian Trail. I thought I had to keep that on the lowdown. Boy, um, but I did confess it to a couple of them and they made me feel better. Like, oh, well, you know, eight miles, you know, is it nothing? That trail though <clears throat> is great because it's flat and beside the Laurel River the whole time. Uh, so it's just great for uh, places to maybe go find get a swim or have a picnic or fish uh, and just be by the water. And it's nice and the flattest it can get around here. Today I uh, am just sort of exploring River Road, which is just outside of Hot Springs, and there's last place to pull off and check out the French Broad. I'm right beside the uh, Pictograph at a nice little place where a creek goes into the French Broad, so a lot of butterflies around. Hopefully a couple will float by me and it'll feel magical. I used to think Man, whoever that French broad was, she must have really been something fantastic for them to name a whole river after her. And uh, now I realize that's not accurate. Um, if you know your history, uh, the French used to own a lot of the land, or at least claim the land, <clears throat> west of the Appalachians. And as we're 30 minutes west of Asheville, uh, we're in water that will flow west and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico. So it's the French broad because it would go into French territory. On the back side of the pictographs cliff is a very steep, oops, but short trail where pretty sure I'm gonna get some nice views. There's probably somebody on YouTube who's been here has got a better view better shot than me because uh, I'm the scaredy cat. I don't like going near the edge. Or it's worth it for the views. Let's try the uh, other side. Oh, look at that. Currently on the River Ridge Loop at Murray Branch. It's a nice short trail, a mile and a half, two miles, not sure. Uh, but when you're headed up, uh, you'll hit this little fork and you're gonna take a right to take you along the ridge, hence the River Ridge title, uh, where you'll see the French broad below. When I was doing that, you also see some farms and uh, trailers on the other side of the river. And I heard one chicken you could hear the chicken over the river, which chickens really are amazing. Or perhaps it was a rooster. Uh, and then you come back down the trail to your left when you're headed up. So it doesn't really matter. You can either go that way or that way, but you're looking to do the loop. The River Ridge Trail at Murray Branch, it's a nice, short two mile trail if you need a mile and a half, two miles, something a little bit easier. Uh, and it's at Murray Branch, because you will get on the trail right across from the parking area from Murray's Branch. I think there's probably better views of the river on the Lover's Leap Trail, 
Uh, but this is nice because it's not crowded. And uh, it's also nice and easy.